everybody, this is Praxis, and today they are starting the site work down on the other side of the house, but we're not going to talk about that today. Today is all about putting up one of these guys. It's kind of infrequent that I actually share with you guys my actually doing something. Usually I'll show a little bit or talk about doing something. Today it's all about putting up this truss. Now you can see I've got one already up, so you'd think I have some experience. But that, that one was really problematic, and we're going to see if we can improve it this time. The plan is to put this side up first, hook it onto here, then get this side to hook onto a board that I pre-nailed here, rest it on there. At that point, I'm going to pull the ladder over, and then hopefully be able to lift the top up and put it on there. Um, the things working against me today are the fact that I'm alone, and this is really difficult, and it didn't go great last time. The things that are working for me is this is the first day in a while that I haven't felt injured. Though I'm just recently recovered from feeling injured, so I'm sure the injuries are there and they're just uh, invisible to me. So let's begin. Um, first step, get this up on there. Despite the fact that this is uh, smaller than the, the Joy Sun, all right, we're off to a great start. Despite the fact that we're, this is uh, smaller than the Joy on the house, it's more awkward because I gotta lift it up so much higher. All right, so far it's so good. I'm gonna pull it towards me. Maybe I shouldn't have done this with. Maybe I shouldn't have done this with two by tens. All right, so I'm gonna try to hook it up on there, but first I gotta get it lined up. It's actually not that hard to control with two people. This would be a breeze. And for those of you who can count, you can see that there's only one of me. All right, here we go. This is where I lost it last time. It, uh, it was kind of top heavy. Oh, geez. I'm feeling it in my arm, my right arm. Almost lined up there. Okay. Okay. It's stable on that side. I gotta slide it in a little more, but it's stable. All right. Cool. So that's good. Next step, lift this up here, and it should be able to set right on there. Let's see how that goes. With it being keyed on your left there, it can't flip. At least I hope it can't. Okay. Good. Stable. Sitting up the ladder. These video runs, as you guys might know, only go to five minutes, so I'm going to cut this run and start a new one to make sure we don't miss the end. Okay, so we have another five minutes in us. Next step is to lift this up onto the top of that post and uh, don't fall off the ladder while I'm doing it. There we go, make sure the ladder is fully extended because I got those legs really close to the edge. And I, don't, I wouldn't want the ladder to open up and have me drop off the backside. So this part's a little, a little sketchy. There's not a lot to stabilize on up here. I'm feeling uncomfortable about this. Maybe if I just get it down one step, I can kind of grab the ladder like that. Let's see. Oh. Okay, that's good. It's resting up on the top post. Now I just have to lift it high enough to get the post to slide into the middle there. Before I do that though, I'm going to move the ladder under it a little bit more. Just moving a couple inches can make a big difference in terms of, uh, oh, it's like I'm under a guillotine here. Moving just a couple inches can make a big difference in terms of not leaning out to do the work. All right, here we go. If we can just get it slipped onto this post, we're golden. All right. Again, I don't feel that secure on here. I can lock myself in like that. Here we go. Okay.
Oh. Okay, that's the awful part done. Now we just gotta squeeze the thing together. I'll use a hammer for that. All right. Mini sledge would be better, but I've got this handy. Maybe if I lifted it up, it'd be a little better. It's about half on. Oh. I think if I hit it from outside, I'll do a better job. This is a nice big one. This is good. Ah. Oh hurts your hands. There's no shock absorption in this thing. I stopped holding it so tightly. You can see how the, uh, the results of that worked out. Okay, so it's back to hurting my hands. But safety. Oh, that's just about it. Hi. Oh, well, that worked out alright. I just got three more of those. But before I do any more, I'm going to Nail it on at all the corners. Four nails each side. So eight nails here, eight nails there. That'll hold it in. Then I'm going to recheck these guys to make sure they're still plumb. If they're not, I'll use a uh, ratchet strap to bring them back together. And I got to get the diagonals back on here. That's it. Thanks for watching.